So far, you have learned about individual random variables, how they behave, what type of random variables we have and how we describe them. As it turns out, real life is not only random, but it's also hugely complex. What do I mean with this? Well, what I mean is that real economic outcomes are the result of very complex interactions of many actors, individuals, shoppers, providers, companies, governments, other institutions. So it's not only one random variable that matters for a particular outcome usually, but it's lots of random variables and how they interact with each other. And this is why you have ended up in this section, because this, this section will lay the groundwork of understanding of how we work with random variables, which are itself the combination of other random variables. Other examples for that is the following. For instance, think about a company like Apple. The fortunes of Apple don't only depend on one product, and you could think of you know, the success of an individual product as being described perhaps by a random variable, but Apple's fortunes are determined by the combination of many products which they have on offer and how they fare. And equally, the example that's perhaps most important for many of us is uh, the stock market. And it's important for many of us because many of our, lots of our pension funds are invested in stock markets, not only in stock markets, but also. And the techniques which you will learn in this session are absolutely crucial for modern finance theory. Because modern finance theory started with understanding how random variables interact with each other and how can we use the laws of this interaction to actually make better investment decisions. So this is why you're in this section, this is why the material in this section is super important.